What is up guys, welcome back to the second play review of the day. If you guys missed my first one, it was an Inform Chamberlain review. Make sure you check that out, link to that will be, well there isn't going to be any more links, so you can't even do video responses anymore, so you can find it on my channel somewhere. So, we're going to be looking at Inform Dennis now. He was really good as his inform for FIFA 13. Now, I really wanted to try this guy out before most of the informs this week because I really enjoyed using his inform last year. Now, this year, it could be a completely different story or he could be as good, but we're going to find out. Before I begin, if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coin, check out battle.com. The link will be in the description. Use the code ETANI to get 5% off. Now, I only had to make... Well, I only had to play five matches to make my decision, and that is... Um, to begin with, he's a very good finisher. Let's start off with his good points. He's a very good finisher. He has really good strength. I think he has like 88 strength, which is, well, it makes him really strong. He has pretty much no aggression. I think he has like 56 or somewhere around there in the 50s. He has really good heading and height. I mean, look at his card stats. That is really scary when you're coming up against him. He has a very powerful shot, even though his long shots are, are kind of terrible. And he is a very cheap inform. You're going to find him for pretty much this card price by the end of this week. Now... He is out of position a shit ton because he has a work rate of a fucking center back. So he has medium attacking work rate and high defending work rate. So you're always going to find him out of position. You would find him near Chiellini. You would find him with the goalkeeper trying to defend. Now don't get me wrong. When he's defending corners, he is really good. But you, you don't want him to be defending corners. You already have four defenders doing that. Now he is quite slow as well. But this could be because his agility... His his balance are really low. Well, his agility is really low, so it just makes him feel so stiff as well to dribble the ball with. Now, his acceleration is really low, I guess, but his sprint speed, I think, is 70 or 71. But I don't feel he reaches that sometime when I'm running with him. He just feels very, very stiff. And dribbling-wise, you're not going to be able to dribble past defenders. It is really hard unless you just use his strength to his advantage and just push yourself through. You have to force your way into the defense, and that is the only way you're going to be able to use him he also has that three star weak foot and two star skills that's another you know disadvantage so to be honest with you guys why should you even bother using this inform when you could just get mario gomez a lot cheaper and much well he's way more effective than this guy but this guy isn't bad but i there are so many better options i i wouldn't really bother with him gonna get a 6.5 to be honest with you guys didn't like him at all so that is all there is to it for this review if you enjoyed it i'd really appreciate a like make sure you let me know in the comment section below guys who you want me to review next unfortunately he is nowhere near as good as he was last year so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys have a very nice day